So it's 92 out. I'm just trying to make sure everything gets a little wet. And water the garden a little bit. By hand. I got garlic I need to plant. Thinking about planting them up in that one where my strawberries were. And uh, go from there. Yeah, I was going to say, make sure you get those potatoes pretty good again. Especially these ones on this side, the sweet potatoes. We did water last night, though, too. Mainly that half of the garden until Elijah could reach just a little bit over here. So I told him to start on this side. I hear my husband getting the Kubota out. Alright. Now I'll just bring it back up here. Elijah gave everybody fresh cold water to all the chickens. Ducks got a new tub full of water. Chickens got new new water. Sheep got new water too. Fresh, cold. So that was nice. He filled these back up again for the chickens. Yeah, and then let Brutus back in so he doesn't start hacking and coughing for being outside. Yes, I think I'm gonna probably plant a few of the garlic around here, up here on this one. Because I got lettuce, of course, down through here. But I can plant some of them, you know, in between there. Huh? Did she? And I definitely can plant it in this stuff. Because there's, like, no, nothing left. So I can plant it definitely around it in this second square and in the bigger square right there. I think this is one strawberry right there. Maybe. I don't know. No? I don't know. I know that's not strawberries. But I'll have to try again possibly next year. That looks like a strawberry plant right there. So I got one. That I know is not. One strawberry. I could get a hold of Stark Brothers again, but you got to send pictures showing them that you didn't have, or that they didn't grow properly, which isn't a problem because it's not like I'm lying about them not growing. I had a few come up, then they just didn't live, and I've got one out of like 50 or 75 rooted plants, or just the roots, I should say. And like gurneys... <clears throat> these mammoth um, mums, they sent me a whole nother collection. All I did was tell them that I had, when I actually got the plants, I had three that were dried up. And I planted them anyways, hoping that maybe good water to them and whatnot would bring them back, but they didn't come back. So they sent me a whole nother collection. So like... This one was from the original batch. That one was from the original batch. That one was not. This one was not. That one wasn't. That one wasn't. This one was, but that one wasn't. And this right here, this is the pink one. That one down there that bloomed, that was yellow. And then I've got one right there that wasn't the original one. And I did have one right here, but it died. And then... I've got another one right there that grew, and these are peonies, 
some peonies that grew in there because I had a peony collection in this area. So I had a couple that came up and then planted the rest of the um, lilies out here. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? This one, stranger. You're a stranger? Yeah, pulled up on this family. Uh, can we adopt you? No. Why? Because I'm a wild woman. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Courtney. I'm a wild woman. <laughs> you gotta be an adult first. You're a young lady. That's for sure. So, just a little review. I'm going to go down and see what my husband's doing real quick. It looks like he's cleaning it out. All the crap out of it. That's probably what he's doing. I thought this phone had a better stabilizer on it. but You can see how I'm walking. And to me, it looks very choppy. And I've watched some of my other videos... And I could see where they're where they're pretty choppy too. So the farrier came out today, and all she could do, the only good horse, was my fat pony diamond. She's the only one that stood there and let everything done. Hercules would cross his front legs. She only got one hoof done. Meg was rearing up. Cherry wouldn't do her back feet. Mine was the only good one. So this is a little contraption thingy that my husband found on Facebook, I believe, when he was like searching stuff, or on the internet, I'm not sure which. But he bought two, one for at work, and one for the Kubota. And what it does is it helps get in between all the gears and stuff inside the um, tracks it's supposed to help take out dirt and stuff it's a lot that was caked up in there would say. Ugh, I just had a, a bug try to fly in my ear. <laughs> it's like really hard to get a video of this. I got an email from Kubota, my love, that they are, they got all the Kubota equipment on Farm Simulator 11. They sponsored it. So Kubota has all their equipment on there now. Farming. Oh, yeah, on Farm Simulator 11. I was asked because we're a customer to download it and and do your virtual um, ride and all the equipment.
breeze feels nice. So that breeze feels nice. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> she said dinner's ready. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I know there wasn't much to this video this time. So we'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.